On this day, 51 years ago, Arsenal ended their 17-year trophy drought by winning the European Intercity Fairs Cup. This is over and over and over again. Hello, my name is Richard. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again. In this video, I'm going to look back on this day in 1970 where we won our first trophy for 17 years, lifting the Intercity Fairs Cup, beating and elect at Highbury, as you can see behind me, in the second leg of the final. So it's a really important day in Arsenal's history and also, of course, was the prelude to the double the following season. Just before I get into all that, I want to make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. If you're new here, you like some historic Arsenal content as well as all the up-to-date stuff as well, please click on the subscribe button down in the corner there. It's free of charge. It does help the channel to reach a larger audience. If you enjoy this video, please give it the thumbs up as well and give it a like. And if you've got any comments all to make about this, final in 1970 were you there what are your memories unfortunately i was a little bit too young i was only less than two years old at the time so um i don't remember too much about it i've seen some footage but um, if you were there please let me know your memories of this particular game or anything else to do with Arsenal. so drop me in the box below i do love to hear from you guys and uh, i will try to reply to as many as i can so it's been a poor season actually for arsenal in the league we were down in 12th place. That sounds a little bit familiar, doesn't it, with, uh, with a season going on quite recently. But in Europe, we'd had a great run and we got to the semi-final where we actually beat Ajax, who were emerging as one of the top sides in Europe that actually won the European Cup three years in a row. So in the final, we had to play Anderlecht from Belgium. They'd actually knocked out Newcastle in an earlier round. We knew it was going to be a tough game. They had some great players and the first leg over in Belgium didn't go too well. We actually found ourselves 3-0 down with 15 minutes left. Two goals from Jan Moller had given Anderlecht a seemingly unassailable advantage. But substitute Ray Kennedy, teenager at the time, came off the bench and scored a crucial goal inside the last 10 minutes, which gave us a little bit of hope. So the second leg then, the 28th of April 1970, over 51,000 people packed in to Highbury to see if Arsenal could end this trophy drought. We maybe needed an early goal to give us something to cling on to. It arrived after 25 minutes. A great strike it was as well from Eddie Kelly playing in midfield. A strike from about 30 yards that flew into the top corner at the clock end to make it 1-0 on the night. That was 3-2 on aggregate. Of course, the second half, the pressure was mounting by Arsenal looking for the goal that would have actually given us a trophy on away goals. Finally got the goal, 15 minutes to go. It was a great cross from the left from Bob McNabb. Arriving at the far post was John Radford, hung in the air and sent a header into the far corner of the net to make it 2-0 on the night. 3-3 on aggregate and as I say we were now ahead on away goals all we had to do now was make sure that Anderlecht didn't score a goal of course we knew how dangerous they were with Mulder up front anyway before we had time to think about that straight from the kickoff we attacked again the ball fell to John Samuels inside the penalty area and he smashed a shot across the goalkeeper into the far corner to make it 3-0 on the night 4-3 on aggregate, come back from 3-0 down. Fantastic it was. Of course, a goal from Anderlecht would still have taken it to extra time, but we managed to hold on, won the game 3-0, and I say ended that 17-year wait for a trophy. Of course, the crowd at Highbury were excited. Everyone ran onto the pitch. Uh, and of course, it's not often that you get the opportunity to win a cup at your home stadium, is it? Of course, in them days, the, the Fairs Cup, of course, the final was played over two legs. We were lucky enough that the second leg was at home so we were able to win the trophy in front of our own fans. And I say a long wait it had been as well. 17 years since our last trophy, which had been the league title in 1953. We hadn't won a cup since 1950 when we'd won the FA Cup. So it was the end of a drought. It was called the long sleep in Arsenal's history because all, the, all those years without a trophy. So um, it was absolutely fantastic. Captain Frank McClintock collected the trophy and was hoisted high above the shoulders of the other players with all the fans on the pitch. Great scenes it was. Uh, and I say, I'm just gutted and upset really that I wasn't old enough to have experienced that. What a great moment that would have been. The only cup final that we've actually won at Highbury. So that would have been an amazing occasion, I'm sure. So I say, if you were there, 
please let me know your thoughts. The Arsenal team actually that played in both legs of the final were, was as follows. And it was a similar team to that which would win the double the following season. So in goal, Bob Wilson, the back four. Peter Story actually was right back this particular season. He did move into midfield for the double season with Pat Rice coming in at right back. The two centre-backs, Frank McClintock and Peter Simpson. And left back was, of course, Bob McNabb. In midfield, it was George Armstrong was over on the right. In the centre of midfield, it was John Samuels who would be lose his place in the team the following year to Peter Story. Next to him, of course, was Eddie Kelly and it was George Graham on the left. And the front two was Charlie George and John Radford. Of course, the following season, Charlie George got injured very early on, which gave Ray Kennedy the opportunity to play and he actually finished top scoring that double season but that was the team for both legs Ray Kennedy did replace George in the first leg and I say got that important goal there were no substitutions actually made in the second leg of course if you remember back in those days there was only one substitute allowed and it was only ever used for tactical purposes and although Ray Kennedy was on the bench again we didn't need a goal did we in the closing stages of this game hence why he hadn't come on but he'd have a big impact of course the following season that's next extra video today, looking back on this day in 1970, I say, when we ended a 17-year trophy drought with an exciting, uh, amazing night here at Highbury where we beat Anderlecht 3-0 in the second leg of the Intercity Fairs Cup final, the first of only two European trophies that we've ever won. So an important night it was for the club as well. I'll say, if you were there that night, please drop your comments in the box. It'd be great to hear your memories. Um, stay tuned to the channel because I've got a lot of great stuff coming up. Of course, we'll watch along tomorrow the big Europa League semi-final. Let's see if this team can emulate the 1970 guys after a poor league season to go on and lift the European trophy of course the prize this time is even better isn't it with uh, placing the Champions League as well so so stay tuned to the channel tomorrow I'm going live at quarter to eight but also then I'll be looking ahead towards the Newcastle game at the weekend before of course the second leg um, at the Emirates next week of course against Villarreal so loads coming up on the channel so if you haven't done so already please get the subscribe button down in the corner there it is free of charge it helps the channel reach a larger audience I do cover a lot of the club's history as well so hence this video today and other stuff as well if you look through previous videos on the channel and, and stuff coming up in the future as well so this is an exciting time of the year isn't it when april and may when all the trophies are decided so there's lots of great memories down the years from arsenal so i hope it's brought back some memories for you guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up as well please stay tuned loads of good stuff coming up and in the meantime of course as always heading towards a, a big european week isn't it for arsenal come on you gunners <laughs>